Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about various theories for adsorption, right? So the adsorption happens and we have seen adsorption, it depends on various factors. And this is something a natural phenomenon. To explain this natural phenomenon, there are a lot of theories, right? About the heterogeneous catalysis because, because we have seen this in the case of heterogeneous catalysis adsorption plays a major role correct now there were various theories uh, to explain this the first was the adsorption theory for heterogeneous catalysis the second is the modern adsorption theory third is the energy activation theory and the fourth is intermediate compound formation theory so we'll talk about these first two theories only the last two theories will not discuss in this chapter the first theory is the adsorption old theory right so as per this theory what happens is the reactants are adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst that's all these reactants are adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst and what happens is in this surface this is my catalyst on this catalyst more and more reactants are there with this high concentration of reactant See, it is telling that the only thing happens is my reactants, they are adsorbed on catalyst surface. So as per this old theory, only what this thing happened. And with this, since let's suppose there are more and more reactants here, there are more and more reactants here, right? So now, it works like a platform. It, it is a platform where we have more and more reactants. This, the blue one is my catalyst and the black are my reactants, right? Since more and more reactants are on this surface, the concentration of reactants on surface of catalyst is more since the concentration is of the reactant is more, the reaction is faster, right? So as per the old theory, what happens is this uh, reactant gets adsorbed because the adsorption concept was there. So according to the old theory, the reaction tends gets adsorbed on the surface. Since a lot of reactant gets adsorbed on the surface, the concentration of reactant on the surface is more. Since the concentration of the reactant is more in the surface, there is more reaction in this uh, surface, right? They react to form product. Once the product is formed, they all go, go back. And a new set of reactant comes. So that, and thus, if you see, the catalyst was not in use, right? It was, I mean, you get almost same catalyst, what it was. But this theory was, okay, convincing, but it could not explain one thing. See, experimentally it is seen that if you have, you pass a big catalyst, let's suppose this big block of nickel, right, for a reaction. After the reaction is over, the, the gram, let's suppose I have given 100 gram of nickel. I still get 100 gram of nickel, but the nickel now is in the ponded form. Instead of big block, it is in the ponded form. That is what it is seen experimentally. So it is still 100 gram. This is initial, this is final, and this is my catalyst. So this theory could explain why the nickel is still 100 gram, but it did not explain why this got finally divided into powder. So for this, a new theory came called modern theory. So to explain why the catalyst which is observed after the reaction is finally divided, this modern theory came. This theory is add-on on the old theory. See, as per old theory, what happens? The reactants are adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst. That's all, right? So in this case, what is happening is, it says that two things happen. The first thing is, reactants adsorb on catalyst surface. And the second thing that happens is it forms 
एक्टिवेटेड कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड दिस एक्टिवेटेड कॉम्प्लेक्स इज अनस्टेबल so if you see this is my nickel or platinum this is my catalyst on this surface of this catalyst this is my reactant this is my hydrogen here this hydrogen is my reactant this will get adsorbed once it is adsorbed now if you see my other reactant came and it forms an activated complex this is activated complex and this is very unstable so this activated complex is unstable and that's why it increases the rate of reaction now this unstable activated complex forms a new molecule so this will form a new molecule where this bond will break and these these bonds will also break because now there is a bond between hydrogen and nickel right this bond will break and this bond will break and this alkane will leave the surface and again it will create space for new alkane alkene or new uh, what do you call reactant to come so here we are taking A reaction of alkene to alkene hydrogenation. So a new alkene will come and occupy the surface. And again, the same thing will happen. Again, the activated complex will be formed, and that will be unstable. It will form alkene. Alkene will leave the surface. The same thing will happen, right? So this is nothing but it is an addition of the old theory. In old theory, we say that only the reactant get absorbed on the catalyst surface. Since the concentration of reactant is more in the catalyst surface, the reaction is faster. in this case we are talking about activated complex also also right so now if you talk about the steps in this there are five steps as discussed the first step is diffusion of reactants to surface of catalyst we have seen that is called adsorption right so the first one is let me write this diffusion of reactants to surface of catalyst so once it is near the surface of catalyst the second thing happen is adsorption adsorption of reactant to surface of catalyst adsorption of reactant to surface of catalyst this is the second step the third we have seen the intermediate was formed so it is intermediate formation that is a complex intermediate formation or complex unstable intermediate formation right the fourth step is once it is formed you get the product right the intermediate formation and the product formation i can say it is all same because it is very fast it is very unstable once this is done desorption happens that is the desorption of the final product and with this this goes off and it creates space for the next reaction and once this is done my the diffusion of product away from catalyst diffusion of product away from catalyst okay so this product will go away see first thing is this reactant comes near to the surface that is first process the second is the reactants are adsorbed on the surface the third is intermediate is formed and the product is also formed at that time the fourth is desorption right the product is detached from the surface the fifth is diffusion of the product back to, away from the catalyst so this explains a lot of thing first thing is it explains why the mass of the react uh, catalyst is not changed you see the nickel is not used right i mean it is, it is just providing a surface to form a complex intermediate but it is not being consumed so it explains why the mass of chemical uh, mass and the chemical composition of this uh, nickel is not changed it also explain why a small uh, quantity of catalyst is also effective because when it is a small quantity of catalyst uh, the reactant comes they are used up and now again the reactant go, uh, the product goes back right so the uh, the surface area of the nickel is useful to other reactant so it's like even if there is small amount of nickel it it makes a huge difference 
right? It is not that this small amount of nickel is used only for 10 or 20 molecules of uh, reactant. The reactant use nickel for a small amount of time and then it becomes product and it leaves the surface. So the same surface is now being used by other reactants. So a small amount of catalyst also makes a huge difference, right? It also explains why uh, powdered catalyst is more effective because you powder it, you increase the surface area. Here, it's talking about the surface area, right? The more the surface area, more is the reaction. But it could not explain the action of promoters and poisons. We have seen the catalytic promoters and catalytic uh, poisons. So it could not explain. This theory could not explain promoters and poisons in catalyst. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.